This is our uh, breakfast area for the last three mornings. Anyway, it's adequate. I'll have more to say after I go outside a little bit about well, our stay, our three days here in Murfreesboro. And we are on our last day here at the Microtel by Wyndham. Um, we spent three nights here, about $80 a night. Um, it wasn't the best room uh, we could have had, I suppose, but we got what we paid for. Um, the room was uh, okay. The TV had a big black spot on it, so we couldn't uh, see the full screen. The air conditioning was loud. It uh, would wake us up at night. The bedding and some of the towels looked like they could have used a second washing. And uh, when we asked for service uh, in the bathroom, they did not uh, replenish some of the soap and uh, stuff like that. So we went and got some on our own when we saw the maid's tray in the hallway. But anyway, uh, today we're on to um, Athens, Tennessee via the Vils. We're going to McMinnville, then we're going to Crossville, then we're going to Marville or Maryville. I don't know what the, the exact pronunciation is. Before we go to Athens, we're going to spend three days in Athens uh, and then fly our drive back to Nashville and fly to Las Vegas where we will get our car and then we will drive home. So uh, we we'll look forward to sharing our, the rest of our visit with you. We're in the city of Sparta, Tennessee. We've passed McMinnville. Uh, we're on our way to Crossville and then to Maryville. However, we may be stopping at the McGee Tyson Airport to either exchange this car or have them repair the left rear tire. I've already put air in it once two days ago, the second day of our uh, rental, and now it's uh, got a check tire on the dashboard here. Same left rear tire. So uh, I don't want to put up for it the rest of this trip. Well, we made it to Crossville, Tennessee. It's just a little sprinkle right now. It had been raining heavier on our trip from uh, Murfreesboro through McMinnville. But guess where we're at? Yep, Bucky's the first, the first Bucky's in Tennessee. So we have to check it out. It's supposed to be the second largest in the country in case anybody's interested here's Bucky's and just so that you know to compare these are less than those in Texas It's different. It's, um, I guess, more set up for the Tennessee customer. Don't know. Nice little car here. Full of beavers. Hi. I don't remember whether it's less expensive in Texas or not. Looks like he's making uh, sliced. Is that turkey? Turkey? Can hear you. I didn't hear it in Texas, no. All this milk and very 
various stuff is all to support the coffee machines. Oh. All the different types of coffee they have. have special mugs. There's iced coffee. Iced coffee cups. Compared to the one in Texas, this one is crowded, but then again, it's the only one in Tennessee. Uh, at least for another couple of days, there's opening one in Sevierville. And then they have two more on the books for next year. Official, it's official. I lost my wife in Bucky's. I don't know where she could be. I'm just gonna stand over here by the brisket sandwiches. Maybe she'll show up. We'll see what happens. towards Maryville, Tennessee, but we may stop in Knoxville at the airport, McGee Tyson. Looks like there's a little uh, problem up ahead. Uh, anyway, I put air in the tire at Bucky's when we stopped, and uh, it doesn't see, that's the Tennessee River. It doesn't seem to have addressed the situation, so I'm going to probably try and turn this car in, or if they have a tire, they can change the tire. We've got some time. We ate at the Los Amigos restaurant here in um, Maryville, Alcoa area, but it was authentic, um, and uh, I would highly recommend it. Thank you. We wanted to show you just a little bit of this walk here that we've seen on other YouTube channels. Well, on a YouTube channel. You're going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way. Don't want to let her out of my sight because She'll get lost and I won't be able to find her. Or I'll get lost and she won't be able to find me, one or the other. Hey, Los Amigos restaurant was a pleasant surprise. Yes, I'd heard about it uh, from the other people, uh, but uh, didn't necessarily believe them because they were gringos. So uh, it was very authentic. I was pleasantly surprised. Hey. That this little river walk here, as little as we've been on, is very nice. Uh, and one thing for sure that contrasts with LA is there's nobody living under these bridges. And it doesn't smell like uh, feces or urine. Uh, which is a great thing. And we wouldn't have found this place had we not been diverted to the Firestone dealer to fix that bad tire or the leak coming from somewhere on or around that tire, maybe just the valve stem. The fountain shut off just as we approached, but there you go. The fountain is out here. We came out here looking at property on Rarity Bay, which is part of Lake Teleco. 